Gary Young from Pivot. And today I'm gonna to show you how to replace your rubber inserts for your volume and for your power buttons on your iPad Pivot case. This one in particular is the iPad Mini 4 Desert Tan Edition. And as you can see, the rubber inserts are taken out on the side and top, power and volume. So I'm gonna show you how to put these back in correctly. Let's take a closer look now. So as you can see, these buttons, just the volume button on the bottom part is going to be a flat surface that's going to kind of make like a little step. And the top part is going to be rounded. So the rounded part you want on top, and you want to be able to see the plus and minus, plus going up, minus going down. And that rib, the little step, you want that step away from you, the flat step. Then you're just going to push it in until it's snug. It actually works better to do this with an iPad in your case because then you won't push the rubber too far in. Same thing with the power button. You want that little step facing away from you and the rounded part on top. Push it in until it's snug. And there you have it. That's how you replace your iPad pivot rubber inserts if for some reason it does come out. Now if you want to check on the inside to make sure you installed it correctly, just pop the face front on, pop the iPad out, and on the inside here, you can see it's nice and flush both sides.